we have Mr. Accardi. Le Roof. Now you put yourself down here as a what? You're more of an artist than a photographer. I'm both. I'm an artist and a commercial photographer. Now how were you trained in Russia? Well, uh, actually in Russia I was studied history of art in the Repin Institute in Petersburg, which was in the pre-revolutionary time, yeah. uh, the Imperial Academy of Art. But then I decided to emigrate, yeah. to move to America. Mm -hmm. I came here, I mm -hmm. started working as a freelance photographer, and then I enrolled at Parsons School of Design. I graduated. What did you, you do at Parsons? I studied photography. That, but, oh, they do that. That they, was my measure. Oh, no, really? in fact, Parsons is famous for its photography department, one of the really? best in the country. Really? So I graduated as mm -hmm. Bachelor of Fine Art and Photography. Okay. So this is your work. This is my work. Now you've got to tell the uh, people as we go through these pictures how they're created and what was your... Okay. This design. is actually a very unique uh, process called platinum printing which was extremely popular in the second part of 19th century in the pictorial school of photography, uh, the image formed by actual platinum metal. So what I do, I mix my own photographic emulsion based on platinum, apply it by the brush to... Now wait a minute, you, but you got to apply it by brush onto a glass plate? No, 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 no. They, uh, I apply the emulsion to uh, watercolor type paper. Oh, this. This I, is this oh, is this is the emulsion on here. Exactly. Oh, I thought you made made your own negatives. No, no. Oh, the, the, okay. ne the negatives in this process are regular negatives. Standard negatives. Standard negatives. Except it's a contact process, so the negative must be same size as an image. Right. But the paper is a handmade paper, so I make my own emulsion. I apply it with a brush. You make your own paper too. No, the paper is a handmade in France. Oh, okay. It's a watercolor type paper to which I apply platinum emulsion and the image formed by platinum molecules. Yeah. This is the only true archival photographic image. That's what's so unique about it. In other words, it lasts forever? It lasts forever. All other images, so color of black and white, will self-destruct. Okay. This image will last because there's unchanged. No as long as the paper it's made on, because platinum is by nature one of the most stable elements in universes, refuse to combine with other elements, and that's what makes this I never image knew that, but isn't it immortal. Uh, hazardous to handle platinum? No, no. You can't get uh, toxic from that? It's toxic, it's heavy metal, you have to yeah. take certain precautions, precautions, but otherwise it's no more toxic than a regular black and white uh, silver oh, okay. process. Okay, the silver yeah. process, okay. Yeah, and the still lives is a, my passion. I love still lives. I studied classic uh, Dutch and French still life of the 17th and what do you call century. Uh, this work called the letter. The letter. The letter. And it's use some antique objects and yeah. it's a and now you make, how many prints did you make? Nine? Uh, no, this is ni number nine, uh, but uh, this is a limited edition of 25. Do you destroy the negative? Uh, when the edition is complete, absolutely. The negative got destroyed. How big is the negative? The negative is the same is size. Eight by ten? Eight by ten. So same. you shoot with an eight by ten I camera? I shoot with eight by ten camera. Do you exactly. process your own negative then? I process everything in my own negative. You're a fanatic. Well, you have to be. <laughs> you have to be. <laughs> That's All right. Here is, this, here is a, I call it Nevelson. Okay, 10 of 25. 10 of 25. You this don't give them names, do you? Uh, yes, I do. This is from the uh, project called Inside the White Box. Inside the White Box. Yeah, I found that white box and I start placing object in it. And he, there's more from that series, but this is, this is one of them. It's actually inspired by work of Giorgio Morandi, the famous right, you Italian got it. you got uh, still life painter. Boxes are an interesting subject. Yeah. It's isolate the space and you can create a little universe inside the okay, box. Okay, now what friend did you dispose of here? Okay, this is, uh, of course, the traditional subject of classic still life, Vanitas, mm -hmm. uh, where skull is representing death. The, mm -hmm. This particular still life called chess game, but basically our life is chess game with a death the end. That's the meaning of that. You so. wild man, you. Do, how many, do you do this often? Do you make a picture a week or? No. Or when no, you just get the uh, not urge? The, not the picture. Whenever I got right subjects, they inspire me.
Okay. And I do this still. So life. now, how do you make a living? You make it by doing. Oh, I do live in. Well, I make living by doing the photography. I'm a commercial photographer. And you photograph. And I also teach. You well, teach where? Yeah, at Pratt Institute. What do you teach us, those students? I, I, I teach course on non-silver photo photographic processes, which basically means those old processes like platinum print, gum buckram, the processes which... Did you ever try to even do the concept of making a glass plate like Mr. Brody did? Oh, glass plate or something else. I know people who are actually still doing this now. Collodium really? process, they lay their own emulsion on glass and create their own negative, but this is so laborious and... It could be done, even today. There are fanatics. You call me fanatic. You should see uh, yeah, those I can people. Imagine. Okay, <laughs> this is your dinner table at night or what? <laughs> right, I wish. No, no, it's just inspired by classic Spanish still lives. They use a lot of fruits and vegetables, kind of like yeah. lavish mm -hmm. kitchen table, something like that. So uh, I, lo okay. I love the textures of those vegetables. That's what inspired So now when you photograph this with an 8x10, now, this would take how many seconds? This is a... Uh, Open the lens for about a second and okay. a half? Okay, uh, that's a good question. F64, f-stop, and 45-minute exposure. 45, why? Couldn't afford lighting? Mm, it's all natural daylight. No, I know, I'm just And kidding. that's what makes it so beautiful. What's the ASA of the negative? For, uh, 400 ASA, but yeah. still with the bellow extension and the reciprocity factor and everything when you multiply it, that's what's required. But I have nothing to rush for. You don't the like camera on the tripod, I open the shutter, I go have a cup of tea, read the book, 45 minutes expired, close the shutter, oh, that's it. Okay, all right. That's well, called the sun goes down, one of the two. Okay, this one <laughs> that's, here is? That's one called breakfast. Uh, the, uh, I give myself an assignment to make still life with all white subjects. So here is the white cheese, you know eggs, what, you and know milk. Can you do this in color? Oh, yeah. I do some color still lives, but mostly Can black and white. Can prints or uh, dye transfers? No, this time uh, in my life uh, it's inkjet prints. Did you ever do fashion photography with no, the uh, no, 8x10? No. I'm not a fashion guy. You know, I, I do. Well, Parsons School of Design, pretty sure they didn't uh, well, nail it. Some people went fashion, I went a different way. I do portraiture commercially. I photograph objects of art, painting, sculpture. I do jewelry. I do oh, tabletop okay. so advertisement, okay. this kind of okay. thing. Okay. Now, when you teach at school, you just teach your uh, students what? I teach platinum printing. That's my specialty. Just printing, that's it? But <coughs> not just printing, but that special method I became one of few people who specialize in platinum printer in this country. There's very few well, there's of us. silver, platinum, what else can you use? Uh, no, no, in this method it's only platinum. The I standard know. black and white process is silver based. Right. The problem with silver, it's self-destruct eventually. It yeah. won't last forever. Platinum yeah. will, it got very beautiful tonal range and there is some unique craftsmanship. That's what I love about it. That's, yeah. uh, it's not, your standard process, it's very, How, very how long special. have you made a negative? How long does negatives last? Negatives last for a pretty long time. Such but as? Maybe a few hundred years if they kept yeah. right. Okay. But they self-destruct as well. I give you an example. Bill Gates, when yeah. he bought Batman Archives, which yeah. is one of the yeah, biggest the photographic archives in the world, the first thing he started doing is scanning the most important images in the archives to save them for eternity because he knows those images and those negatives will away. eventually self-destruct. But do you go for this idea of scanning it, put it in the digital format? Well, if that's the way to save it, that's the way to save it. But if it's platinum, you don't have to scan it because it will last oh, forever. Oh, you're a showman guy. All right, very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I thank you for coming. It was very, you're very, very, very welcome. So, Photography is still alive and well, right? Absolutely. All still right. there. The art of photography is oh, yes, quite digital and everything. All right. Thank you, Cardi. Very You're good. very welcome.